Hey guys, by now you should be familiar and confident with one step and two step equations. So what next? Well, let's see. We have an equation where we have 8x minus 4 equals 7x plus 8. What do you notice? You notice we have pronumerals on the left, we have pronumerals on the right. We would like to move all pronumerals to one side, preferably to move them to the left. So the 7x, we're going to move it to the other side, so that way we can have the pronumerals on the left. Let's do that first. 7x, it's a positive 7x. So we want to move it to the other side. We're basically taking away 7x and we take away 7x. Now what? Well, we have 7x take away 7x. That's gone. You're left with 8. 8x take away 7x. We're left with 1x minus 4. What do you notice now? It's a one-step equation now. So we have basically taken away the 7x from both sides. Now we have x minus 4 equals to 8. We know minus 4 becomes plus 4. x minus 4 plus 4 is gone. 0. 8 plus 4 is 12. That's our answer. Pretty simple. It looks complicated, but we follow the steps and we get it right. So let's go through it one more time. 8x minus 4 equals 7x plus 8. We would like to move the 7x and move it to the other side. So what we're doing is actually eliminating it from here. We're taking away and what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. Minus 7x, minus 7x. 7x take away 7x, we're left with 8. 8x take away 7x, we're left with x and minus 4. We have a simple equation, x minus 4 equals 8, meaning something, take away 4 equals to 8. We know minus 4, we basically add 4 on the one side and add 4 on the other side. And we have minus 4 plus 4, we're left with x and 8 plus 4 is 12. So x is 12. It's that easy. Let's do some more. 3y plus 3 equals 10 plus 2y. Again, you notice we have pronumerals on both sides. We have 3y here and we have 2y there. We would like to make sure that we keep our pronumerals on the left hand side. So what are we going to do? We take away 2y from both sides what we do to one side, we must do to the other side. 2y take away 2y is gone. We're left with 10. 3y take away 2y is only 1y. Plus the 3. y plus 3 equals to 10. Now, we only want to work out y. So, plus 3 becomes minus 3 from one side, minus 3 from the other side. Very important, we balance the equation. We do one thing on one side, we have to do the same thing on the other side. Why? Because 3 minus 3 is gone. 10 take away 3 is 7. Y equals to 7. That's our answer. Very easy, we follow the steps bit by bit and we get them all correct. Don't get confused, just because you have pronouns on both sides, we follow this step, we get it right. Let's do some more examples. All right, we have the next two examples. We have 4b plus 7 equals 11 plus b. Straight away you recognize 4b here and b on the other side. What does that mean? It's an equation with pronumerals on both sides. So we follow the same steps we did before. We would like to keep the pronumerals on this side, so we're going to basically get rid of the one on the right hand side. So minus b, because it's positive b, we minus b. And what we do to one side, we do to the other. b minus b is gone. We're left with 11. 4b take away b is 3b plus the 7. So now we have a normal two-step equation. 3b plus 7 equals to 11. So we know with two-step equations, what do we do? We basically have to take away and make sure we get rid of the actual two numerals that are there so we can keep the b by itself. Which one do we start with? Do we take off the 7 or do we start with the 3? 
very easy. I like to remember it like this. I look, which one is the furthest number away from the pronumeral? The furthest one is 7. So we start with 7. So 3b is left here because 7 take away 7 is gone. 11 take away 7 is 4. We have 3b equals 4. Now we have a one step equation. 3b equals to 4. What does 3b mean? We know 3b is actually 3 times b. The opposite of times is divide. So b, 3 divided by 3 is gone. It's 1, 1b, one 4 over 3 is simply 4 over 3. Or we can have it as a mixed numeral. How many 3's go into 4? 1 and 1 remainder. And a 3 is in the denominator. 1 and 1 third, that's our answer. So again, we make sure we actually take away, we get rid of the pronumeral from that side. So that way the pronouns are only on the left. Minus b minus b, we have 3b plus 7 equals to 11. Then we have 3b plus 7. Which one do we actually get rid of first? Do we get rid of 3 or the 7? I like to remember it. We get rid of the first one that is furthest away from the pronumeral. Furthest away is the 7. Plus 7 becomes minus 7. Minus 7 here, minus 7 on the other side. We're left with 3b equals to 4. 3b is 3 times b. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. We have b equals 4 over 3, which is 1 and 1 third. That's the answer. Let's do another one. 7x plus 5 equals x plus 17. So again, we have pronumerals on both sides. What do we do? Let's see. We want to get rid of the one on the right. Start with that one first all the time. Minus x. Because it's a positive x, minus x on one side, minus x on the other side. So, x minus x is gone. We're left with 17. 7x take away x is 6x plus 5. That's our equation. Now we move on. 6x plus 5 equals to 17. Again, we want to get rid of the numerals. We want to leave x by itself. Which one do we start with? The 6 or the 5? What is the rule? We look for the furthest one away from x. We start with that one first. Which one is furthest? 5 is furthest. We start with that. Positive 5 minus 5. The opposite of plus is minus. Minus 5 on the other side. 17 take away 5 is 12, and 5, take away 5, is gone. We're left with 6x equals to 12. Now, lastly, 6x is 6 times x, so the opposite of that is divide by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1, so 1x, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So x is our missing pronumeral, x is actually 2, and this will make this equation work. So the steps are very, very similar to all the other ones. We make sure we go step by step and we concentrate. What we do to one side of the equation, we do to the other side and we follow and we get our answer pretty easy. Let's do two more examples. All right, guys, our last two examples. Remember, the more examples I do for you, the better you're going to become. Maybe the first one or two examples, you may not get it perfectly. After the second or third or fourth or fifth, you become a pro. Let's see how to do these ones. 3x equals minus 3 plus 7x. Once again, we straight away can identify we have pronumerals on one side and pronumerals on the other side. So what do we do? We want to get rid of the pronumerals on the right and keep the pronumerals on the left. So what do we do? Basically, minus 7x, what we do to one, we do to the other side. So negative 3 plus 7x, now minus 7x, 7x take away 7x is gone. We're left with minus 3. And 3x take away 7x, 3 take away 7, negative 4x. So negative 4x equals to negative 3. Now, we only want x, so what do we do? We know negative 4x is the same as negative 4 times x. So times the opposite is 
divide by negative 4. Divide by negative 4 on the other side. So negative 4 divided by negative 4, you're left with 1x. And negative 3 divided by negative 4. We know that the negatives cancel out. Our answer is simply 3 quarters. Very easy and simple to understand. Next one. 12 plus y equals 24 minus 2y. Again, we have pronumerals on both sides. We want to get rid of the one on the right-hand side. Minus 2y becomes, what's the opposite of minus? Plus 2y. Plus 2y on the other side. Now what? We have 24 minus 2y plus 2y. Negative 2y plus 2y is gone. We have 24 and 12 plus y. Now plus 2y. So y plus 2y is 3y plus the 12. That's a positive 12. So we say plus 12. So we have 3y plus 12 equals to 24. Now what? Well, we have 3y plus 12. We want to get rid of both those numerals. We want to leave y by itself. We start with the furthest one away from y. The furthest one away is the positive 12. Positive is minus 12 on one side, minus 12 on the other. So we have 3y and 12 minus 12 is gone. Now 24 take away 12. 3y equals 12. Now what? Well, we divide by 3 and divide by 3. 3 divided by 3, we're left with 1y. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. y equals to 4. It's that simple, guys. Very important that you go through step by step. If you have to watch this again, make sure you do. It's important to identify that we have pronumerals on both sides. We follow this step. Equations is easy. Learn step by step and you'll notice it's pretty simple and you're going to need to practice and practice and practice. The more practice you get, the better you're going to become and the faster you're going to become.